them. It's the cooking classroom. Now let's be out. Here's the host of the classroom. Let's go warm it up. It is showtime, baby. How are you guys? Students, what's going on? We feel good today? Got your books, calculators, teachers. Hello. They look smart. That is not good for the students. Hey, welcome in everyone. Today we have the students and we have those beautiful teachers from Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School in Drexel Hill, PA. But today everyone's inside of my classroom. Now you guys know the drill. I let the students try to prove that they are smarter than their teachers. But are they? We find out in the next 30 minutes. It's winner take all and this show starts right now. your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, everybody's geared up. Teachers to my left, students to my right. Only one comes out on top. Time starts now. What is the final series of the MLB postseason called? First one at Mr. Watson. The World Series. That's gonna get you 10 points. How many months of the year start with the letter J? Bridget. Three is right. What is the name of the R&B duo comprised of Bruno Mars, Anderson Pac, who sings Leave the Door Open and Skate? Buzzer stay silent. Silk Sonic. What is the name of the deepest known point in Earth's ocean located in the Mariana Trench? Tough question. Back to back, the Challenger Deep is what we were looking for. In February of 2022, Russian leader Vladimir Putin launched an operation to invade what European country? Mr. Watson. The Ukraine. Good. Let's double the points. I'm giving some extra credit. In the movie The Goonies, what is the name of the character that Chunk befriends by sharing a baby Ruth bar? Mr. Vernon. Uh, Sloth. Sloth is right. It's going to get you up to 40 points. In geometry, what is the two word term for the longest diameter of an ellipse? Buzzer stay silent, major access, and that is the buzzer for the round pop quiz. Teachers coming out on top. Students look a little stunned here, left to right. You guys are, you guys are feeling like, all right, this thing's on. They came and they brought their game. Mr. Watson, off to a hot start for the teachers there. Hey, pop quiz was great, but the scores, teachers, 30 point lead going into this, and I love it because we have the students and teachers from Bonner and Prendy. You guys know them, they're from Delco, and it's home of the Friars and Pandas, some of the best known mascots in the area. What do you say we meet our teams? Hi, my name is Bridget Murphy. I'm a senior, I'm, a cap I'm the captain of the girls rowing team, and I can't wait to fail Watson like he tried to fail me. Hi everyone, I'm Elwin and I'm a senior. I'm the captain of the boys bowling team. Go Friars and go Pandas. Hi, I'm Lizzie McKenzie, I'm a junior, and I do the school musicals. Hi, I'm Miss Cardine. I teach math at Bonner and Prendy, and I love trivia, so I am excited to play today. Hi, I'm Mr. Vernon. I teach mathematics, and I impulsively sign up to do things. Hi, I'm Marty Watson, and I'm a, I rule history at Monsignor Bonner High School. Hey, we got some players in here today, and I love it. All three students to my right, you guys all play on your high Q team, which is basically the classroom just in schools. That's right. Yeah, basically. Are you guys pretty awesome? We're all no right. comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're trailing by 30 points right now, but Bridget, I'm feeling the animosity towards Mr. Watson, who tried <laughs> to fail you last year. You said, nah, -uh, not letting you. But today, what do you say? I give you the opportunity to send him to detention. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Ooh, we got a little last man or woman standing up here. Who's it going to be? Well, we find out soon. Students, we're going to give you the start of the category because you are trailing. And here is the first. You can pass or play on this. Popular books. We'll play. Ooh, love the confidence. Here we go. In what John Green novel does the main character love a book titled 
and Imperial Affliction. The Fall of Our Stars. Yeah, girl, that's, that's what I'm talking fun. about. I didn't even finish the question. She was like, guys, I know it, and nails it. Now you can knock somebody out, and I have a feeling who it's going to be. I think be. you know who I'm picking. Mr. Watson, you're out. There he goes. Oh. This was a long time coming, Watson, when you tried to fail her last year. She's got her revenge on television right here. All right, he's the first one in detention. Teachers, let's make sure we don't send any more. And the category now goes back to you. Here you go. Geography. For two math teachers, do they pass or play? Shall we play? Yeah. Okay, we'll play. Here's your question. What is the name of the man-made waterway that connects the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea? What is it? The Panama Canal? No. It was a canal. It was... The Suez Canal uh, is what we were looking for. That's unbelievable. How about this? A quick turn of events. Students, you guys can talk about who you're going to send. Vernon or Cardine? Vernon. Yeah. We're moving right down the list Vern. here. Mr. Vern, out of the game. You join Watson. A little teacher party hanging out. Leaving Miss Cardine all by herself. But the question is not yours. We head back to the students who have a full roster still intact. Good luck, squad. Here's your topic. Space. We'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. Right. Yeah, here you go. Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system, orbits what planet? Jupiter. Jupiter is nice. right, and the students sweep the round. Get your brooms out, Miss Cardine. <laughs> I want to send you to detention. Last one. Head on over here because we got to we got to celebrate, squad. Hey, you guys. Jump up, you took a 10 point lead, and just like that, you got control of this game. When we come back, don't go anywhere, contestants are gonna show off their drawing skills. Stay right there. Guys, that is getting it done right here in detention. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. On the show today, the students and teachers from Bronner and Prendy High School in Delco are going head to head. Hey, and art class is right now. Let's go. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. Well, the students were trailing after pop quiz by 30, but now after a great detention round, find themselves 10 points in the lead, which means I'm here with the Verninator. He's going to be headed to art class here. Did anyone ever call you that before? No. Okay, that's your new nickname. I love that. Is it blue or red? We'll go blue. All right, head back here. Open that up once you get back there. I'm going to put this card away and save that for the students. That's what you're going to draw as fast as you possibly can, okay? Okay. You love this? Sure. Here we go. Time starts now. Okay, stop. I don't know if this is great or not. I gotta find out here. Let's talk about it, guys. What is it? Um, oh, a, a bird? A bug? A bird. Is he a specific bird? I think we're gonna go bird. Incorrect. Let's try this again. Now, I'm gonna give you five more seconds here. Good luck. We're here for 20 seconds, or 20 points. Let's do it. Time starts now. Okay. Okay. All right, Verninator, add some good stuff here. What is it? Pollinating a bumblebee. Oh. Is it a, a bee, right? A bumblebee or just a bee? A bumblebee. Okay, we're gonna say bumblebee. All right, incorrect still, but Mr. Vernon, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to really wrap this up for 10 points. Good luck, go. Students are just loving this right now. <laughs> it's not gonna help. I don't think so either. <laughs> Okay, so you stopped drawing at six seconds, yeah. and then we just hung out, so that was good. Are you guys ready? Here we go. 
A bee? A bee? Yeah. Not a bumblebee? Bee pollinating a flower. A regular bee. Oh. He drew the same thing. You guys are saying the same thing. That was just wrong last round. The answer? Hummingbird. Hummingbird oh, is what we were looking for. God. I heard it come from the crowd. Somebody in the crowd had it. All right, we're going to switch this out. No right. points for the teachers. And students, you're going to get a huge opportunity here to put some points on the board. I'm going to stand. Lizzie, you're going to stand back here. You're going to open that up. I do want to tell everyone at home that you did not want to do this. In fact, they did rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> shoot to see had, who had to do it. Okay, yeah. that's what you're drawing. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Time starts now. Okay, stop. You two, talk it out. What is it? A garden gnome? It's a toilet. Yeah. It's a toilet. Oh, cool. It's yeah. a toilet or it's a garden gnome? I think it's a toilet. I think it's a toilet, yeah. Toilet. Yes! <laughs> With every ounce of my body, I wanted to change this card to Garden Gnome. Oh my goodness. Lizzie, unbelievable. Nice. Rock, paper, scissors, yeah. shoot. Helps these guys out, yes. gets them up, and the 40 point lead. How about it? Let's throw a little extra credit on the line. A Garden Gnome. I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. And a correct answer here is worth 10 points. Teachers, let's break the spell here. Let's get some points on the board. And here's your question. What musical tells the story of Eliza Doolittle, a young flower seller who takes speech lessons from Henry Higgins, a professor who wants to turn her into his idea of a proper lady? Hey, where's all my mu musical people out there? Sing this one through. Listen, when we come back, we'll have it you uh, your way as we get closer to finding out who wins it all. Today we have the students and teachers from Bonner and Prendy High School in Delco. Listen, the scores right now, students are rocking and rolling. I mean, they are rocking so much that they've got the last two. Now have not lost a point in the last two rounds, so keep that up. And teachers, you guys are looking good, and that's half the battle, right? <laughs> hey, before the break, I asked both teams an extra credit question, and here, here it was. What musical tells the story of Eliza Doolittle? A young flower seller who takes speech lessons from Henry Higgins, a professor who wants to turn her into his idea of a proper lady. Ms. Cardine, let's get you guys back into this points category. What did you say? We said, my fair lady. That's going to get you up to 50. Nice job, team. We <laughs> needed that one. Students, what did you guys say? We also said, my fair lady. All right. They grabbed those points right back, get you up to 90. Guys, you're in the lead right now, but I have a ton of points still left up for grabs. The teachers could make a huge comeback here and come back. But if you do win that cash, where does that money go? So uh, if we win the cash, our money is going to our annual Dance for a Cause. So. Yeah, nice. And everyone's going to be dancing in that cause? Yeah, we stand for a couple hours to raise money for Catholic Relief Services, Catholic Social Services, feed, or, uh, the Headstrong Foundation, and Pediatric Cancer Research. Well, they're lucky to have you guys on their team. I think everybody at home just maybe is dying to see Elwin's best move. Elwin, <laughs> when you're dur yeah. during this, is it is it like something like this? Like, just show us kind of what we're Post dealing with. Well, Elwin. you're going to have to be there for it. Bust the move, Elwin. No. That was so oh. good, Elwin. What a turn of events. You turned that back on me. All right, teachers, and if you guys win, where's that money going to go? Um, our students have a community service club at their school, and they have a couple collections coming up that the teachers would like to donate to. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we yeah. love our teachers. You know what the best thing you guys could do is? Is to send them on an unbelievable field trip somewhere, like uh, where Jen Fred is this week. Let's go, guys. We're headed on a field trip. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. 
the old steel. Be careful, guys. Make sure you're getting it right. Today, we're taking a field trip to Phoenix, Arizona. Just what we need. Jen Fred, my girl from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, is asking the questions today. Jen, welcome to the show. What's going on? You guys know I love a field trip, so I wanted to bring you along right here to Phoenix, the site of, you know what, the Super Bowl. So we've got some Super Bowl questions for you. Are you ready? Here's the first one. What is the first and last name of the defensive end who famously strip sacked Tom Brady in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 52, helping secure a Philadelphia Eagles victory? First one in, Elwin. That's Brandon Graham. That is Brandon Gam. Gets you up to the 100 point mark. Nice job, guys. Don't leave her hanging there in that fist bump. I had you guys. Nicely done. <laughs> Ellen, I was going to make you fist bump her. Okay, guys, we got another question, and Jen's dying to ask it. So, what is it, Jen? Another big game question for you here. In 2017, the New England Patriots were down 28 to 3 late in the third quarter, but won Super Bowl 51 during an overtime comeback against what team? Our history teacher, Mr. Watson. The Atlanta Falcons. There you go, get you up to 60. Nice job, Mr. Watson, good answer. We have one question left, Jen. Make it the hardest one yet. Here's your last big game question for now. In the final two minutes of Super Bowl 42, wide receiver David Tyree completed the famous helmet catch that was thrown by what New York Giants quarterback? First one in, Elwin. Eli Manning. For the round, gets you up to 110 points and control of this game, Elwin. Just show us a little shimmy, pal. Show us a little shimmy. Yeah, look out for the we love it. Hey, a big thanks to Jen Fred for leading our field trip today. We always love having you on the show, Jen. Thanks for doing that. Hey, and scores, students getting you guys up to 110 points and currently leading this game against teachers who are still very much so within striking distance, still with final exams still to play. So put your books away, put your pencils away. All you need is your brain. Final exam is right now. Here we go. Here's your topic today. It's musical instruments. I'm seeing some frowns and some smiles here on both sides. Teams, I'm going to ask you three questions about this final exam topic. Each correct answer will bank you 100 points. You'll work together as a team during the commercial break, but no writing yet. I'm going to give you the questions first, and we start with this first question. What Greek god, often depicted holding a stringed instrument called a lyre, is primarily known as the god of music and poetry. Question number two. What AGAJR song with a musical instrument in its name went viral on TikTok in 2022 and also became part of a challenge in the video game Valorant? It's a great question. Finally, during a recent Washington DC concert, Lizzo famously played a crystal flute that belonged to the fourth president of the United States, who is often referred to as the father of the Constitution. What is his first and last name? All right, great questions today. Each team has 60 seconds to talk and come up with their answers. Then we will see which team will ace the final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. because we are in for a big finish. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have the students and teachers from Bonner and Prendy High School in Delco going head to head. And this game has been magnificent. Te students, you're currently in the lead over the teachers, but 300 points is still up for grabs. The final exam today, musical instruments. Now before the break, I asked teams three questions all about those musical instruments. Good luck, everyone. And question one starts with this. What Greek god, often depicted holding a stringed instrument called a lyre, is primarily known as the god of music and poetry? Teachers, let's get hot here. What'd you say, Mr. Watson? Apollo. 
Apollo is right and you take the lead. Here we go, we move over to our students. Lizzie. We also said Apollo. Apollo jumps right back in front and we move to question two. What AJR song with a musical instrument in its name went viral on TikTok in 2022 and also became part of the challenge in the video game Valorant? Let's move over to our teachers. The Verninator, what'd you say? <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> oh no, question mark on the board. And just like that, students, you get this right and that check is yours. Elwin, reveal it for the win. We said Guitar Hero. <laughs> Incorrect. Teachers stay alive at an absolute point. The, that's called the world's smallest violin was the oh, answer there. Oh. And here we go. During a recent Washington, D.C. concert, Lizzo famously played a crystal flute that belonged to the fourth president of the United States, who is often referred to as the father of the Constitution. What is his first and last name? Teachers, get it right or the game is over. James Madison. Is right and grabs the lead. The tables have turned. Students, can you fight back for the win, Bridget? The bragging rights and the prize money for Dance for a Cause. Did you say James Madison? We did say James Madison. Students win the game, $500. And grab the 310 points victory. Get out here, teachers. What a way to celebrate. Hey, we might as well dance our way to the outro, you guys, because that's what you're going to be doing for a cause. No one's going home empty-handed, though. We got Rita's gift cards. We'll see you next time right here on The Classroom.